Pixel 9 owners and Pixel owners rejoice, Android 15 is finally here. Yes, so you can go ahead and download Android 15 for your Pixel phone. This is Pixel 6 and newer, so everything is now 100% on the Tensor platform. So Pixel 6, 7, 8, 9, Pixel Fold, Pixel Fold, well, 9 Fold XL, well, Pixel 9 Pro Fold, uh, all that new stuff. So here's the thing. Uh, don't get mad because I'm sure some people will not be able to get it right now. It's a rolling out process. So what's going to happen is today you, it's starting to roll out over the air, which means you can go into your settings. You can swipe down, go to the set, system settings, system update, check for update, and you should be able to get that. Now, that doesn't mean that everybody's going to get it all at once. This is something that's going to be rolling out all week. So you could get it today. You could get it in six hours. You could get it tomorrow. But a lot of people should be able to go ahead and get that today. So just like in the video I made recently saying we expected the day to be October the 15th, October the 15th is the day that shall go down in Android infamy. And we are now having it available for the phone, which is cool because, you know, I just made a video talking about Android 15 yesterday with the Vivo X200 Pro, which is pretty neat. But there is a lot of nice, cool new stuff, a lot of new features available. They're coming with this. So it's funny because People are calling it a feature drop, which, you know, if you follow along with the feature drop stuff, the feature drop was actually supposed to be in September, not in October. So I really think they really need to, like, clean that up a little bit because they use an operating system update as a feature drop. That's not really a feature drop. That's a new operating system update. But anyway, so it's available. Go get it. Check out your system settings. Go check for that update. Hit the button. And, and this is something I want to talk about because a lot of times people will be like, oh, it's not showing. It's not available. So go to your settings. Go down to system and then once you get there scroll down and there's software updates and then system update my system let me see check for update let's see what mine says i'm currently in beijing china right now that's yeah mine i'm still on 14 it's not available for me yet i'm probably gonna have to wait till i get to, to, to japan tomorrow or back to the states in a few days before i can get it Plus, I only have so much international data, so there's that too. But anyway, so yeah, you can go ahead and do that, but always hit that check for update button in the bottom because a lot of times when you ch just open that system update, it doesn't necessarily pop up. So some people are like, I'm not getting it, check, do it that way. So there's a lot of stuff that's new, and I have to read this off my Pixel phone as I'm sitting here. Like I said, I don't have my normal setup. I don't have a computer behind me. I woke up, it's midnight here in... Beijing and I'm, I'm making this video so uh, just a tiny amount of grace here with with all this going on so anyway uh, some of the new stuff new private space where you can hide sensitive apps behind your secure lock pixel 6 and newer I, I, of course anyway, I'm reading this stuff off of droid life um, they've got a whole list of this stuff so anyway it's not my article uh, pixel weather app new weather app is debut on pixel 9 series rolling out pixel 6 and up all this stuff's gonna be pixel 6 and up no more Snapdragon stuff, all Tensor. So Pixel 6, 7, 8, 9, the folds, all that stuff. Uh, this is not going to be something. If you've got a Pixel 5, 5a, 5g, Pixel 4, you're not getting Android 15. Sorry. Uh, Gemini extensions for screenshots, that's going to be there. Astrophotography, there's a manual mode inside there whenever you go uh, into the camera. So, yeah, you can do that. For the Pixel 6 and above, you can manually flip to astrophotography photo by... Oh, mode by opening night sight sliding the little night timer to astro uh, night sight for instagram so google's rolling out night sight capabilities with the in the instagram app experience underwater photography and video if you own a pixel 9 9 pro 9 pro xl you can take your phone slap a waterproof case on it and take improved underwater photography and video recording if you so choose like i don't know who's doing that <laughs> uh, but go ahead and go for it uh, object temperature sensor the temperature sensor thermometer app on the Pixel 8 Pro, 9 Pro, 9 Pro XL has been uh, a new and more intuitive way to check temperatures by using the camera as a viewfinder. We'll give live readings and can save measurements for recent results. So the useless thermometer app uh, is getting a slight upgrade, I guess, for functionality. Widget discovery, a new widget discovery feature can recommend categories of widgets and even provide a preview of what they can do for you. So check out the widgets. Adaptive vibration. So the adaptive vibration setting is here to adjust your phone's vibrations based on your environment. Uh, Pixel 7 and above. So Pixel 6 guys, you're out of the loop. Uh, next generation call screen. The newest version of call screen is expanding to UK and Japan for Pixel 6 and above. That's great. 
Uh, that's something that people outside the U.S. are going to get to take advantage of in the U.K. and Japan. And Gemini Live audio, Gemini Live is now available on Pixel 6 and above in France, Germany, Brazil, India, Spain, and Latin America. That's cool. And Audio Magic Eraser. So Google's expanded its Audio Magic Eraser to all Pixel 8 devices globally, as well as limited markets for Pixel 9. So everyone with the Pixel 8 globally, you're good. Pixel 9, uh, I'm sure it'll be coming later with the Audio Magic Eraser. And I'm sure there's a few more things. <clears throat> there's, of course, new features, new stuff within the OS. And I'll talk more about some of this later. But the big news is it's here. We're raising the big flag for Android 15. If you've got a Pixel 6, 7, 8, 9, any of those series of phones, your phone is eligible. You can go ahead and you should be able to check that starting today to start getting Android 15, which is exciting uh, because Google is usually the first one, or they should be the first one anyway, because you know the Pixel phones are made by Google, Android is made by Google. It kind of makes some sense uh, that they would be the first ones, except for Vivo beat them to the punch, which is interesting. Uh, but even Samsung, they're saying with One UI 7 and Android 15, we're likely not going to see that until January. So that's kind of like, wow, that's a, that's a big deal. So Google is going to stand alone here in the U.S. in that regard. I don't know about OnePlus. I don't know when they're going to get it. Usually they follow on pretty quickly behind Google. Uh, at least they did in days past. So we'll have to wait and see what OnePlus has to say about Android 15. And then Samsung is like, well, we know we're not getting that. They've already officially said we're not getting that until January. So that's a long ways off when the S25 comes out. But it's exciting stuff for Pixel people, Pixel fans, Pixel owners. You can go ahead and check today. Get it again. Don't flip out if it's not there like me. I didn't just have a meltdown on camera because whenever I clicked on the update, it's not available for me. And of course, I'm in China. <laughs> so maybe that's why I can't download it right now. But uh, I'll be in Japan <laughs> later today because I'm leaving here around lunchtime and I'm going to be in Japan for the next couple of days. I am going, rest assured, for all the Pixel fans who like my videos, I'm going to try to make a vlog while I'm there. Uh, I wasn't able to do one here in China. I just really couldn't go anywhere. I was, not that that was restricted from going places, but I just don't have the availability. I have no car. I have no nothing. I don't, like, I wasn't venturing very far from my hotel. <laughs> so uh, tomorrow, uh, or today rather, I'll be in Japan. So I will be making a video while I'm there for sure. But anyway, uh, I just want to give you all the update. Android 15 is here. Go forth, go and prosper. Um, and also, I love this. Whenever you get the update, uh, if you watch the video, leave a comment. Like, what phone do you have and what carrier do you have? And is the update available for you? Because I like to track this stuff. Because sometimes certain devices, certain carriers, certain regions or whatever are better about getting the update. So I just like to kind of keep an eye on this stuff and see where it rolls out, who's getting it, who's not getting it. So if you could leave a comment, what phone you have. Uh, and what carrier and whether your phone's like unlocked or not. Like, did you buy it unlocked from Google? You're using it with Verizon and you have it, you know, just kind of like that. So anyway, that's all I got. Any questions, comments, concerns, gripes, complaints, all that stuff. Go to the comment section. I'll do my best to get back with you. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you guys next time.